Will fruit picking robots be tiny or huge by 2030? Meet Tom Cohen, the CEO of Octinian. He is on a mission to use robotics to transform fruit harvesting. And meet Kaya, a traditional Californian strawberry grower. I'm Simon Darling, welcome to Life in 2030. This is one of my weekly prediction videos. At the end of it, I show how huge fruit picking robots will be by 2030 on a scale of one to 10, based on looking at the technology, the companies, what's to love and jobs. First, let's look at whether the three technologies needed for fruit picking robot to be huge by 2030 will be solved or unsolved. By 2030, the technology needed to identify ripe fruit will be solved. Today, Kaya's strawberry pickers decide which fruit is ripe to pick. How does Tom do this with technology? He uses stereo vision cameras that allow the robot to see in 3D form. With the help of a machine learning algorithm trained on thousands of ripe fruit images, it decides if it is ready for harvest. Tevil's robot also spots ripe fruit. As you see here, apples but also it can do oranges and avocados. The technology to pick the fruit is solved. By 2030, advances in end-of-arm tooling technologies give robots more subtle grips, allowing them to pick softer fruits. Firstly, it uses proximity sensors to guide its arm to reach out to the fruit. Once in position, the arm's soft cushioned plastic pores open up and grip carefully. The gripper then turns the fruit 90 degrees to snap it off its stalk and put the fruit in a container. There is a differently designed robot for each type of fruit. Here you see Root AI's tomato picking robot and here's Tevil's drone robot picking apples. Isn't it an amazing sight to behold? The technology to measure it all is solved. The app provides updates on time to complete, quantity picked and total cost. Because the technology needed is solved by 2030, it points to fruit picking robots being at the huge end of the scale. Now let's look at companies. Fruit picking robots will be huge if there are fast growing startups that may one day be unicorns worth more than a billion dollars. And if there are big multinationals that are active, represented by an elephant. Octinian, the Belgian based engineering company is on its way to becoming a unicorn. Tom is an engineering PhD and founded the company in 2009. Its Rubion robot launched in 2019 and is the first autonomous strawberry picking robot. Based in Israel, Tevel is growing. Yaniv Maurer is the CEO and is a computer scientist by training. It's doing an amazing job pioneering these incredible flying fruit picking robots. Abundant Robotics is also a company driving things forward. Founded in 2016, its investors include Google Ventures. Its robot gently sucks the ripe apples off the tree. The development team alternates between the northern and southern hemispheres to catch two harvests per year. Big companies are also active, including Kubota and John Deere. Farm equipment manufacturers like Kubota from Japan are investing in startups. They put $20 million into Tevil. John Deere acquired the startup Blue River Technology, which includes capabilities to farm lettuces. From a company point of view, fruit picking robots will be at the higher end of the scale by 2030. If you're enjoying this, hit the subscribe button so you don't miss out on the fascinating new predictions I make each week. Now we look at what's to love. Fruit picking robots will be huge if they attract plenty of five star ratings and few one star ones. They score five stars for low prices. By 2030, robots will increase fruit picking efficiencies, reducing prices for the shopper. Robots can work all day and night without stopping for breaks. This robot will be able to pick 360 kilograms of strawberries per day whereas a human fruit picker can only pick about 50 kilograms of strawberries in an eight hour shift. Less waste scores five stars. Right now, between a quarter and a third of food frequently rots in the field and is wasted. A robot can come back to the same field multiple times to pick any stragglers. Robotic fruit picking gets a five star rating for feeding the planet. The global population is predicted to grow from 7.8 billion today to 10 billion by 2050. Without continued increases in farm output, we will not have enough food for this population. On top of this, many growers are facing shortages of fruit pickers. 
Instead of viewing the robots as a threat, farmers and consumers alike can start seeing them as allies in the battle to feed us all. From the point of view of the amount of love fruit picking robots get by 2030, it will be at the high end of the scale. Now we look at jobs. If fruit picking robots are huge, then there's going to be lots of jobs hired and fired. Some fruit pickers will be replaced by fruit picking robots and fired. On the hired side, the Tevil Aerobotics Technologies team has one vacancy on LinkedIn at the time of recording. They are looking for a software integrator to join the team. Even though there aren't many jobs yet, it's well worth looking at LinkedIn if you're interested in getting a job in this sector. Jobs in new sectors like robotic fruit picking are exciting and often more secure than in older sectors. You can find jobs in the fruit picking sector all around the world. Octinian is in Belgium, Tevel is headquartered in Israel and Abundant Robotics is located in the US. You could set up some job alerts for these companies, it's easy to do on LinkedIn, and click to have a look at my Finding Great Jobs for Life in 2030 course. From a jobs point of view, because there aren't yet masses of new ones being created, it puts fruit picking robots on this basis at the lower end of the scale. Now we've covered all four sections, it's time for me to make a prediction. We've seen the technology needed is solved, there's startups but not yet many unicorns, there's five star reasons to love it, but today there's only a few jobs being hired. This means that on a scale of 1 to 10, fruit picking robots is in the middle of the scale by 2030 at a 6. And go and have a look now at this prediction or that one. I'll see you in the next video.